Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode one of the video series I'm calling Getting Started in Photoshop. This video series is meant for the photographer that hasn't really used Photoshop and wonders what it's all about and how Photoshop might help them enhance their images. And it's not meant to be an all-encompassing video series, like you're going to be a Photoshop expert by the end of the series. But what I hope it does, it's going to teach you some of the basics you should know how to do as a photographer in Photoshop to help your photographic post-processing. Now, in this, the first episode, I'm just going to talk about layers because I think layers is probably the most important thing in Photoshop and really the main thing that separates Photoshop from other programs such as Lightroom. Also, layers seem to be the most confusing topic for most people that haven't really been exposed to Photoshop. So I want to talk about it right off the bat. And it is going to be more of an overview. We're not going to get real technical and I'm not really going to teach you how to do anything in this video. I'm just going to get you exposed to layers and hopefully by the end of the video you'll know what layers are and that will help you learn everything else in subsequent videos. Before we start, Lightroom, or I'm sorry, Photoshop has a lot of different layouts. They call them workspaces because not only do photographers use it, graphic artists use it, artists use it, a lot of different types of professionals use Photoshop and there's a lot of different functionality and tools available in Photoshop and the workspace could be configured so it will work best for certain types of professionals. I use what they call the photography workspace so my workspace looks like this. When you first use Photoshop I believe it's using what they call the essentials workspace so your Photoshop won't look like this if you want your Photoshop to look like my Photoshop in the top right hand corner there's a little drop down and you can see it says essentials 3d graphics and web and so on obviously I'm using the photography workspace so you could just click there and change your work your workspace to photography now I am using Adobe Photoshop CC 2017 the latest version as of the making of this video and as the video series goes on if Adobe updates Photoshop I will use updated versions of Photoshop as we go along now layers well what are they I think the best way to describe layers is to draw a parallel to something in the material world Let's say you used a film camera and you took a picture of this young guy sitting right in the middle of the bench. Then you took a second picture of him sitting on the far right of the bench. Then you took a third and final picture of him sitting on the far left of the bench. And what you did now, you sat down at a table and you laid down the first picture you took right in front of you on your table. Then you took the second picture and you just laid it right on top of that picture. And it would look pretty much like that. You just put that picture right on top of the first picture. Then you took the third picture and you put that on top. Well, you just layered three pictures, one on top of the other. That's your layer stack sitting on your desk. Well, in the virtual world of Photoshop, if we look over on the right-hand panel, this is our layer stack right here and you can see we have different tabs we're in the layers tab and we have three layers the first layer is our first picture the second layer was our second picture and the third layer is the third picture and you'll notice that each layer just totally obliterated the later layer before it meaning it totally covered it up you can't see the layer below it so what good is that well there's different things you could do with layers so that you could either blend one with another or you could mask out part of one so another one below it or it itself shows through. And this is a good example of that using the same exact group of images. There's all three images, just one on top of the other, but I use layer masks to mask in part of an image that I want. And if you look over at the layer panel, you could see it looks different than it did over here. 
it still has the same layers in the same order, but we now have these masks. And the masks simply allow one part of the image where it's white to come through, and wherever it's black is being like let out. It's not allowed that part to come through. And because of that, when we use these layer masks, we could come up with some trick photography like this. So that's one way that layers could be used. Another way layers could be used is when what they call blend modes. And what we have here is a very simple layer stack. We have the original bottom layer is just this simple sunset picture. The layer above it is really what they call a blank layer. And you could see up here this checkerboard pattern. That indicates that the layer is blank. Well, it's not a totally blank layer. The bottom part is just got some white paint on it. I just simply took a brush and used a white uh, paint and just painted in white. And that is sitting on top of the background layer. But you'll see you don't it doesn't look that way. What it did is it brightened up this foreground area. And the how it did that is I'm using a specific blend mode. And if you look right at this drop down here, there's all different kinds of blend modes. For those pictures of the young guy sitting on the bench, we just use normal blend modes. And you see if I use a normal blend mode, we just have a bunch of white paint sitting on top of the layer of the sunset. Well, if we use the specific blend mode overlay, you could see it just brightens up that part of the image. So that's another application of layers. You could blend layers together, uh, all different types of things you could do. And you could see there's all different types of blend modes. And they all might have very specific uh, applications for different types of effects that you're trying to accomplish. And we'll cover some of that in the future. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is adjustment layers. Now, we have a very simple picture here of a street scene, and there it is. There's no other layer with it. But what we could do is we could add a layer above it that just does a specific adjustment to this layer. Now, the most obvious adjustment I could do to this layer is make it a black and white image. And if you look over here at these tabs, we have libraries and adjustments, and I am in the adjustments tab, and we have a number of different adjustment layers. And if you just hover over them, you'll get a tooltip and a hint of what it is. And this one right here is black and white. And as soon as I click on that, you'll see the image turn black and white. You'll see that we have some controls similar to the HSL pa uh, panel in Lightroom, where we could adjust the luminance values of the colors that were in the image. So if I want to make the blues brighter, I could just go to the blue slider and move it to the right and make the blues brighter or any of these colors that were in the color image that is the bottom layer. You'll also notice over here on the right hand, far right hand panel, we have the background layer and then we have the actual layer that has the adjustment, the black and white adjustment. And you'll notice that that layer came with a layer mask. The layer mask happens to be white. The white indicates it's letting the entire adjustment through to affect the entire background layer. So we're making the entire background layer black and white. Well, what if I want to just part of that image to be black and white. Well, you could get a brush tool and paint in black on the adjustment mask, on this mask, and we'll mask out the adjustment from that part of the image. So what we would do is we get a brush tool, now this far left-hand side are where all our tools are, and we could get a brush right here. And as we go on in this series, I'll get more uh, specific about different tools and how we're going to use tools. So don't worry about that. As I mentioned, this first episode is just an overview of layers to get you thinking and understanding what layers are. We're going to get much more specific in subsequent episodes. So we could get a brush tool. And I'm always going to talk about keyboard shortcuts because I think that helps a lot. Um, it really helps you work in Photoshop much more effectively and efficiently and quickly. And the B key, B as in brush, 
is the quick key to turn on the brush. And what we're going to do is we're going to paint in black. We have swatches here, and the foreground color is the color we're going to paint in. So we're clicked on the mask. We're on this white mask, and we're going to paint black on the mask. And you can see when I do that, that we're letting the color through. And I'm just going to do a real quick sloppy job. And so there we have the color of this painting that is on the electrical box come through. And everything else is still black and white. And if you look at the mask, you can see there's a little black blob in the middle. Now if I hold the Alt or Option key, the Alt if you have a PC, Option if you have a Mac, and click right on that mask, we could see the mask. And you could see I missed some spots. And you could come right in and you could paint right here if you want. It does cover up all those spots you missed just like that. And then we do the same thing. We hold that Alter Option key in and click on that mask again and then we're back to this. So that is one other application of layers and that is adjustment layers. So we had just layers with masks so you could do things like this. Other things you could do with layers with masks beside trick photography like this you might have a landscape image with a boring sky and you want to replace the sky with another image that has a really nice sky and you would use layers and layer masks to accomplish that. You may want to add the moon to an image. You would do that with mask or you could do that with blend modes. So you could add the moon to the image using a blend mode. Uh, then we have the adjustment layers. So those aren't all the different types of things you could do with layers. There are only three, but in my opinion that's probably 80 to 90 percent of the stuff us photographers do with layers in Photoshop. And then you could come and you could uh, combine them all. Now I have this image here of the uh, lion and her cub just sitting on this rock at the zoo. And what I did first was I added a photo filter adjustment layer to just warm up the scene, to make it really, really warm. Why did I do that? Well, I wanted it to look like a sunset because I replaced the background with another image, which is just a background image and a mask. So now the background is a sunset. So that's really warm. But then as you look at it, the luminance values of the lion and her cub don't really match the background. They're a little too bright. So what I did was I added another adjustment layer to brighten up the background so it matched better. It looked more realistic. So those are some of the things us photographers do in Photoshop and kind of all encompassed in one image right here. So again, this episode was just an overview on layers. I just hopefully that helps you understand layers a little better because this is kind of like when you're in math class. If you don't understand algebra, you'll never understand calculus. You won't be able to do it. So if you don't understand layers, you won't be able to do the things we're going to be doing in subsequent episodes. So I'm going to be doing about an episode oh, a one every week. And so next week we'll be doing another episode. And I don't think the series will be super long probably less than 10 episodes long, but it should be enough to get you started using Photoshop effectively. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.